Are you tired of hitting roadblocks in your dating life? Join me for a free masterclass where I'll be revealing the three nice guy dating patterns that turn women off and what you should be doing instead. Unlock the secrets to creating genuine attraction. Click the link in the description to sign up now. Actually, who would like to learn how to be able to talk to a woman in every single situation based on what you already know and be 100% observant and have life in slow motion? Raise your hand. So write down everything you see about women for the next week. Not only that, you need to learn about the point person. The point person. So before we get to the point person part, yes, guys, for those of you guys that are struggling, like, I don't know what's going on with women, it, I started being extremely observational. Like that, aside from the five months I took off of school when I was doing the play and I was like learning about guys like this that gave advice, I also really started looking at the guys that I was hanging out with after the play, we'd go to another city, we go to nightclubs and I'd say uh, four of us on the on the band were straight. One was bi and one was completely gay. And so the straight guys would go to a club and like the I'd be there just observing the other guys in the group, like approaching women. I'd be looking at like how they're approaching them. What are they saying to them to get them to laugh and to come over to our table and have drinks with us? How are they getting these women back to our hotel room to do stuff with them for one night only before they go off someplace else? And all those lessons are very critical. So I started just looking, okay, taking notes down. What's this happening? What's over here? So yeah, if you're having trouble trying to understand women, just observe the way they talk. To, to each other, how they talk about themselves, the kind of things that they're wearing, what they go to in terms of like things they think that are cute or, or touching or attractive or make them cry or whatever. Like the more you can become a student of women, you're going to get a better insight into how they are and it's going to confuse you less. It might not make sense to you, but at least you'll have an understanding of this is what they like to do. I don't really know why it is, but I know they like to do this thing. So I got to figure that out. Then you can go online and look at videos like mine and ask questions that'll further explain it to you. Is all the people you see in your daily life that you're not attracted to. They're wonderful, most of us. It's so funny, I was teaching a guy yesterday, we we're going out and we were working. I'm not talking to him, he's a dude. Okay, fine, I'll talk to the dude and I'll show you why I'm talking to the dude and I'm gonna show you exactly how to create energy. That point person is your friend. Pick the easy people you can talk to because other people are looking at you. Everybody wants what? Life is like a giant high school, you gotta be the quarterback at all times. And you've got to be the life of the party. How many? So when he's talking about point person, he's basically saying when you're out and about in the world, you know, as, as a guy, if you're trying to get a girl, you might just be focused on, I'm just going to talk to women. And you need to be focused on talking to everybody because you never know who you're going to talk to that you're not trying to go after, be it man or woman, that might have a connection of some kind to somebody you want to meet or could end up being the connecting tissue that you're able to use later on to get with somebody, as he will explain later down the line. You honestly know the name of the cashier person that scans your groceries every day, raise your hand. This cashier person, for instance, is your point person. So Talita, the point person, okay, is somebody that you see every single day. Most of you go through your life not using these wonderful people called point people. The point person is so phenomenal and I'm going to show you how the point person is going to close the person for you. Gas station? Perfect. Okay, you got to go into the gas station, okay? You don't use your sliding card. You want to go get a big gulp, you know, because you want 64 ounces of soda that day. You've gone to this gas station 40 times. You've never talked to the person behind that register. I walk in there, okay, and the guy's name is James, right? I know James, because every time I go in there, I go, James, how are you doing? James is great. I know James has two kids. I know James works nights sometimes. I know James is in school. Why? Because when I ask him, how's he doing? He tells me. It for this is also, by the way, a sales tactic, like really getting to like know your customer. Like the first 10 minutes of when you go into somebody's home, if you're trying to sell stuff, it's supposed to be just talking about them and their family and what they're into. That way you build this friendly rapport to where now they feel like they're bonded to you, even if it's for just a short amount of time. Information is the key to being successful in everything you do in life. Most, most of the time, the key to meeting women. So James is now my friend. Now there's a beautiful girl standing behind me. Here comes human interaction psychology. Here comes the way people think, right? Beautiful woman standing next to me. Don't know what to say to her yet because I'm not really picking up any verbal clues. I whip around and see she's got a pack of gum. I don't want to open her with gum quite yet. You like cinnamon? I like peppermint. Who cares, right? Who cares? So what do I do? I talk to James. James, how you doing? James goes, oh my God, David, how are you today? I'm doing great, man. How was your kid's birthday party? 
Oh, my kid's birthday party was great. Meanwhile, James is ringing somebody up, ignoring them, right, talking to you. Girl behind you is starting to think. This is what they start to think, psychology. If I am there in line, Derek, right, and you're behind me, and I, or actually you're in front of me, okay, and all of a sudden James is ringing you up, right, and James is ignoring you and talking to me. Aren't you going to wonder who I am? How come James is so nice, right? So what's he setting up? He's setting up a scenario where it's like that thing like, if you go to a restaurant or a club enough times and you start to know people, then every time you walk in, it's like, oh, hey, Harry, hey, Bob, what's going on? Now, if you walk in with a new person or if a random girl sees you walk in and the first thing she sees is the bartender being like, oh, hey, so-and-so, what's going on? She's going to be like, what's that about? Like, why is everybody in here know this guy? And more importantly, why don't I know this guy? How is it that I don't know this guy and yet everybody in here seems to know this guy? He must be an important person. I need to get to know him. So without you having to do anything, she's already forming in her mind that you are an important person worth getting to know. And that's going to start building the tingles in her before you've said two words to her. How do I know this? Because I've done it. I've gone to parties where I've been able to know people around me and I've been able to quote unquote peacock for an hour or so just by like conversing with other people, having a good time on the dance floor, whatever. And then at some point when I get near the lady, it's like, oh, she's already ready to talk to me because she's the only one here who doesn't know me and what's going on. And that is a great way for you to be able to have girls coming up to you because if they're chasing you, they can't be replacing you. So if they're coming to you based off of you knowing somebody else, then that's all to your benefit, which is why it's good to talk to people at large when you're out and about in the public. Now, if you're an introvert, I get it. That can be a hard thing. I would say if you have places you regularly frequent, at least try to get to know those people because you see them enough to where they're not complete strangers. But knowing those people could help you immensely in the future should a woman happen to come to the same place that you're at and she sees you conversing with these people. He doesn't treat you like that. You've seen James a hundred times. James just gives you the attitude, 429. That's it. Because you never took those two seconds to get to know him. James is your point person. Because now the girl standing behind you is doing the same thing Derek just did, wondering how come James doesn't treat me like this and who is this person? So now you turn around and you look at her and now you bust her exactly what's going on in her head. Do you know James? <laughs> <laughs> no. You want to meet my friend James? What's your name? She goes, Mary. I go, Mary, James is Mary. Take good care of her, okay? James will take really good care of her. Now, you let This is the setup. He set it up. Now he's bringing her into the to the thing. And also, this is a, this will be like an example of like there's an old thing called nagging out there, where it's like, oh, you're supposed to make a woman feel like she's less than by insulting her and blah 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 blah. We don't want to do any kind of negative like nagging, right? But the jokey version of nagging, where it's like, oh, how do you not know James? Oh, you didn't want to get to know James. Like that's a way where it's being jokey and jovial. Because now she'll feel like, I, I guess I should have gotten to know James. My bad. But like that's a way to be jokey with it versus being insulting with it. James ring up other people and you just start talking to her and go, how come you don't know him? <laughs> <laughs> it's teasing. It's fun. She's going to, but she is going to, I don't know. I, I, I just, she'll get defensive. <laughs> I, and then you look at her and go, how many times have you come here? She goes, I come here every day. I go, you come every day and you don't know James? I, that's a crime. I said, they're going to put you on the wall over there. <laughs> when you run out, they're going to see that you're, what are you, about 5'2"? Go over there and wall. I want to see how tall you are, right? And just like the alpha male that you're being right now, what is she going to do? It's called good girl, bad girl. Are they good girl, bad girl in sex? Yes, they are, right? Sex starts when? The second you open your mouth. So and also of note, and I've said this on the show before too, is that as kids, we're trained automatically to just do what we're told to do. Like, this is why I tell you guys, when you're trying to get a date with a woman, this is just a secret. This is, why, this is an example of a secret that is in the Introvert Dating Success Academy, which will teach you a plethora of tricks just like this, right? Is that you don't say to a woman, hey, so are you going to date with me? You, If you express it as a question, it gives her a choice in her head. One of those choices would be no. Versus if you say, hey, so I want to take you out. Let me know when you're free. At no time was that a question. It was stating exactly what's going to happen. I just didn't know parameters of that, but it's still phrased as a statement because we are trained to be, to, to, to react and do automatically what we're told to do. You'll get better reactions telling women what you want versus asking them for what you want. Big difference, right? So by him saying, Oh, go to that wall over there. He's testing to see if she's, if he's now, it got her in his aura. So when he says, go over there to the wall and she does it now, this is a positive sign that, Oh, I got, I got her. I got her. She's ready to do what I want to say. She's willing to do the things I'm telling her to do. So what's the bad girl going to do? She's going to walk right over and she's going to measure herself. And you go, turn around. She's 
She's going to turn around. You go, you're five foot three. You lied to me. You thought you were five two. She goes, well, I'm wearing heels. I said, get back over here. You get back and you talk to her. You talk to James a little bit. You ignore her then when you're back there, when you're in the register time now with James. You talk to James. You're solidifying because James is going to give you all the social proof you need. So, yeah, another another great guy gone too soon. Like, I swear, like, Kevin died in his 50s. David died in his 50s. Uh, Doc Love was old, like, probably like 80 years old, something like that. But, like, yeah, he has a lot of – if you go to his, his channel on YouTube, he has a lot of great advice for you guys that want to do cold approach. He has t years of videos where he's actually in the field showing guys – like how to approach. He's talking to women about, hey, I approach you this way. Like, how did it make you feel? Like, it's a great, for those of you guys that want to learn how to do better cold approaches, his channel is absolutely great for that. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are stop. high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man.